Welcome back, my friends. Listen to this. The CDC says one in 36 children will be diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. And now there's a new center in mid-Michigan that's helping meet patients' needs, and it's like a family feel. It's a nice, cozy, warm place to go. And I'm so delighted right now to have Jennifer Ward-Kolka from Spectrum Autism Center. Thank you so much for joining me. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Of course. I'm so delighted. Now, Spectrum Autism Center has a new location in Essexville. So now there are five centers in Michigan. Jennifer, when a client comes to Spectrum, what resources are available? Uh, well, it depends on what their needs are okay. as an individual yeah. or as a family. But one of the first things that we do is to evaluate what their needs are. Um, what the family's needs are. Um, are they ready, f looking to go to school? Um, yeah. Are there challenging behaviors? Right. How are they doing in the community? Are they an adult? Are they a little itty bitty yes. guy? And then we really work on providing those resources at that point in time. Yeah. So it could be the ABA therapy that we provide, um, parent um, education, so that can be in a group format yeah. or just one-to-one -one parent education on what we're doing within the center that they can take home. We provide resources to help transition to school, mm. school support if yeah. needed. So it's really a well-rounded, uh, all types of services yes. that are available to individuals as well as families and then the school. Why would you say Spectrum is different from other centers? We're different from other centers, I think, because our owner has a, a has an adult son with autism yeah. and many of our staff have children or grandchildren or others close to them that are impacted by autism so you're not just a client or a patient with us we really truly value each person that comes to us as the individual that they yes. are and view them in a lens of almost kind of being one of our own yeah and i love that you offer in-home services as well as at the center and also parents they're not left out you include the parents and you include the entire family talk about that yeah so we're primarily center based but we do offer in home when it's right. needed so that's um, cases where maybe things are going so well in the center we um, families need help in the home yes um, but for parents we um, really set we want them to be involved of they course. need to be involved right. sometimes that looks like meetings to discuss progress um, but oftentimes that's sending actual homework home. Mm -hmm. So this is what's going well at the center. We're gonna send this home to you so that it generalizes to your home setting, the community, school, wherever it is. And it helps with their child as well. Yeah. Okay, this is a dream that this new location in Essexville, tell us all the details about it. I love this for yeah. you. Yeah, Essexville has been a great um, opportunity for us. When we reached out, Bay County had a small waiting list um, and we've been able to help families access, access therapy faster than what would have been provided via other centers. It's a huge building. Um, we're so excited to be able to take on right. more um, individuals as time comes, but we have bounce houses oh and um, just ways to really help kids fall in love with learning. Yeah, and engage them. And yes. that's what they need, which yes. I totally love. Tell us how people can get more information and where you're located. Yeah, you can go to SpectrumAutismCenter.com is probably the easiest way. Um, you'll find our phone number there, um, a list of some resources yeah. as well, and you can find information for any one of our five centers across the state. Okay. And we're excited to meet new families, new yes. kids and adults, and help people meet their maximum potential. And I can see that you're so passionate about this. Thank, <laughs> thank you thank so you. much for coming in and sharing this valuable yeah, information with you. us. Of course, you're so welcome. If you, my friends, have any ideas on what you would like to see in our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.